Fun up in sports, Ronnie. I can say to win or not to win, Dawn. That is the question. Yes, the Phillies tried to make a lot of moves to boost a possible playoff run. Highlights from their game with Pittsburgh, plus a look at day three of the Eagles camp and their coaches have a message that hit home. Sports after this time out, Shakespeare. On Fox 29. Hey everybody, Ronnie Duncan inside your TV. You know, by looking at the numbers, you might say the Phillies should beat up on the Pittsburgh Pirates. But everybody else says that's not the case. Yes, the Phillies are 51 and 51, playing 500 baseball. And the Pirates, they're pitiful. 38 and 64, the second worst record in the National League. That didn't make any difference, not tonight. Not by the numbers. That's not my theory on the Pittsburgh. Not tonight. Pirates up two to nothing in the first, and Vince Velasquez just didn't have it tonight. Rodolfo Castro hits this ground rule double to right center, scoring Gregory Blanco, and it was three zip. Pittsburgh in the second inning, they added one more. And that's when Kim Bryant, deficit Kim Bryant, yes, double to center. And before you knew it, it was four to nothing. The Phillies are currently losing this game seven nothing in the eighth inning. The Phillies did some wheeling and dealing prior to the Major League Baseball trading deadline, picking up pitcher Kyle Gibson, Ian Kennedy, and Hans Kraus from the Texas Rangers in exchange for Spencer Howitt, Kevin Gowdy, and John Gesser. Joe Girardi hopes that Gibson can start on Sunday, and general manager Dave Dombrowski is excited about the new moves. We think we made ourselves better now. Uh, we think we also are in a position where for next year we have another starting pitcher that we are in our rotation, which is helpful. You know, we, we traded some young arms, but we also got a couple of young arms back today. We're really happy with what took place. We think it gives us a chance to win, a little better chance to win based upon what we did. Hey, the Chicago Cubs are really busy when you talk about the trade. They let their slugger Chris Bryant go to the San Francisco Giants. They also sent their closer, I mean all-star closer, Greg Kimball to the Chicago White Sox and Javier. Well, Baez, he goes to the Mets. Now, when Coach Nick says, you know what, you better speak and you better listen to what I have to say. The parents are saying, hey, that's how we talk to our children. And the players are saying, we've got to listen to the coach. You know, he halted practice today because he wasn't happy. And Boston Scott says at some point, everybody on this team got the message. And he was just like, man, this, this is adversity. You know, this is the this is the game of football. You know what I mean? So there's going to be some days where you feel like everything is going right. There's going to be some days where you feel like nothing's going right. You know what I mean? But it's about how you respond to that. It's great to start fast, start good, you know, but it's even more important to finish with a W, to finish strong. I like that guy. I'm Ronnie Duncan, three to the one. I'm done. Good morning, everybody. The Phillies lost to the Pittsburgh Pirates 7 to nothing Friday night. Game two of the series starts tonight at 7 o'clock. Now, prior to the game, they picked up three pitchers and a trade with the Texas Rangers. The real steal and the man who we got was 33 year old Kyle Gibson, a right hander that Joe Girardi says, I hope he can start on Sunday. And the Eagles are flying high after day three of camp. We will have highlights of the day a little later in the show right here on Fox 29.